CSE, Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's a dual and XL time. Stand by, it's a dual and XL time. My my, it's dual and XL time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 189, VLOOKUP from Outline Data. Oh, hey, I'm uh, redacting parts of this question, but it's a great question. Unfortunately, my friends took the, uh, I can't tell you what exam, again, and still had a problem with this question. We have created a spreadsheet to mirror the question. We're totally clueless on this formula. The answer must be the name of the country, not true or false. Most sincerely, and then I redacted their name, but there's five of them who are trying to uh, figure this out. All right, so here's the question. How to create a column when, how to create a VLOOKUP when column A has blanks? I want to populate column B with the country, and here's our lookup table from code to uh, country like that. For example, A2 will be Afghanistan, and that will repeat all the way down to 10. And then when we get to the new one, AX will be the Alanda Islands, 11 to 18. Uh, example of the expected results is here. All right. Well, hey, I feel your pain, but you are overthinking this. Anything that's on that, can't tell you the name of the exam, uh, is not going to be as hard as what you are making this out to be. It has to be super simple. Equal VLOOKUP. Go do a VLOOKUP. Find AF in this lookup table here. F4, comma, 2, comma, false, like that. Perfect, right? And that works for this row and for row 11, but it's not going to work for the other rows. All right, so just in really simple, plain English, hey, Excel, if you get an NA, just grab the previous value from this column. Whatever you found above me, bring that down here. So we come back up here, equal if NA. That's what they're testing. If NA is brand new in Excel 2013, the guys that wrote the test want to make sure that you know the if NA. Uh, and at the end of that, if we get an NA, then what I want is the value from just above me. So in this case, that's cell B1, like that. And we will copy that down to all of our rows and paste. All right, so the first one, the VLOOKUP works. The second one, the VLOOKUP doesn't work. So if NA says just grab Afghanistan from above me and it goes all the way down, grabbing the value from just above me until it gets to one that works and then it switches and switches and switches and switches. Nothing hard here. You were trying to make it too hard. Um, this test, the, I can't tell you the name of the test, is never going to be that hard. Look for the easy solution. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Yes, indeed, if and A and V lookup are the way to go. Excel 2013 or later, I guess that's what the exam people are looking for. Now, I'm going to go over to the next sheet and do something totally ridiculous. This formula probably won't even be able to be understood by the people who grade your exam. Now, what I'd like to do in this column as I copy the formula down is use a regular V lookup. But I want internally inside the formula, I want the formula to always get the last text item as I copy the formula down. So when I get to this cell and this cell and this cell, there's the last text value. But when I get to here, it needs to have that as the lookup value. And then boom, 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 the lookup value still needs to look back to that AX. And the way I'm going to do that is to use the original lookup function. This is the original function that Bricklin and Frankston put into the first version of VisiCalc, way before VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. And the lookup function only does approximate match lookup. It doesn't do exact or approximate like VLOOKUP. The advantage to approximate match lookup is in the lookup value, if you put a value that's bigger than anything in the actual array or result vector, it'll always get the last one. So watch this. For the lookup value, I'm going to, in double quotes, since I'm looking up text, type Z, Z, Z. Now I'm using Z, Z, Z because I know none of the ISO country codes will ever start with Z, Z, Z. So this is going to be bigger than anything ever entered into this column. Now, comma, and I'm using the array version. I'm going to click on cell A2, colon, close parentheses. 
click on the first A2, hit the F4 key to lock it, just the first cell reference. Now, as I copy this down, that blue range will expand. Since all of these cells are empty, ZZZ will always return AF because that's the last text item in the column. Control Enter. Notice that's a lookup value. As I copy down, now inside of our formula, we actually have the correct lookup value all the way down. If we come down to some cell and hit F2, you can see there's the expandable range. And sure enough, lookup is getting the last text item entered. Now I'm going to come to the top F2. That whole thing is the lookup value that I'm going to use inside of VLOOKUP. Now I come to the end, comma, table array. I come over to lookup table, highlight the table. I'm up here in the formula bar. I hit F4, comma, 2, because the second column has the thing I need to get, comma, 0. That means exact match, close parentheses, control, enter. And I'm going to copy it all the way down. And look at that. Now, F2, that's much too complicated. That's a crazy formula when all you need is if and a and v lookup. However, there is a situation. I'm going to go over to Excel as fun 2 here. There is a situation where this will get you into trouble. And if I copy this down, notice it's all Afghanistan. And look at that. What is going on there? Well, we actually, if we put this in edit mode, there's an extra space there. So there's some situations where we actually want to see the NA error. So if that was possibly the case, then we'd need to use a slightly different F2 logical test. Now I'm going to click on value and copy that, because that's the VLOOKUP. We're still going to use that, Control-C, Escape. And I'm going to use a different logical test. This is how we had to do it before Excel 2013. Is blank. Now, is blank only will deliver a true when it sees a cell is totally empty. Close parentheses. If it is blank, like it is down here, comma, then what do I want? To look one cell above, comma. Otherwise, Control-V, do the VLOOKUP. Close parentheses. Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. So in that case, we are prompted. We know that there is a problem here. Now I can come here, backspace, Enter, and now everything works. And I'm going to copy it down. Control-Home, that formula is a little bit longer than just if and a. We had to use three functions. But in some circumstances, you might want to take the extra time to create this longer formula than if and a and v lookup. I'm sure on the test that either one of those will work, but this is the one you probably don't want to use. All right, I'm going to throw it back to Mr. Excel. Well, hey, Mike, those were a couple of cool formulas, but again, I think the test was looking for the easy way, the if and a. And like you said, if you actually put that formula in, they wouldn't have a clue uh, that that would actually work. I want to thank everyone stopping for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun. It's Dueling Excel time.